This is our 1985 Cadillac Eldorado. So this video will cover a few different things. First off, there will be a very slow paced walk around of the car. Following that, there will be a second walk around where I'll show close ups of all the cosmetic blemishes. There will be some clips of the interior as well as under the hood. So this is a two owner car. Uh, sold new in LaPorte, Indiana. It remained there with the original owner until 2016 when he sold it to a gentleman in Griffith, Indiana, who we purchased it from. So the car's been in Indiana for, since new. Uh, still retains its original paint, which is really, really impressive. Uh, we put a paint gauge on every panel, 2.2 to 2.9, with the exception of the hood, which we know has been resprayed once. Done correctly. You can tell it just the whole car, just a nice glassy finish, you know, mirror-like trim, all the polished surfaces are excellent. Really, really impressive car. Uh, about 73,000 miles on it, but it's really the condition of, let's say, a 30,000 mile car. Very, very, very rarely do we see one that's preserved like this and is as original as this one. The uh, car does have the original pinstripes as well, uh, dark blue and white. You can see the color codes there in the listing. Dark blue top, excellent shape, no signs of age. Body is phenomenally straight and dry. Uh, there is no bubbling whatsoever. Not even behind the you know corners of the rocker panels, there's nothing there. Really, really, really nice, very dry car. Glass and light lenses are all clear and crack free. You can see the filler panels are all in good shape. Uh, we've replaced those with fiberglass units so they will no longer crack. The car is nice and silent, no exhaust leaks. Wheels are in good shape, no curb rash or damage. Uh, tires are good as well, though we're not positive as to their age. No dry rot or anything like that. They're in good shape, but just can't tell you exactly when they're from. No door dings. Really, really nice and straight. Overall, very impressive, uh, absolutely show-worthy condition. Now here's a close-up at all the blemishes on the car, and this is everything. A couple little chips above the headlights, very, very minor. Then there are a few more chips uh, right there, middle of the driver door. Little ones, but they are there. Now just another close look at the rocker trim. Really, really nice. I mean, no no gashes, no scuffs, nothing like that. No bubbling back there. You know, typically that's where you see it. There is a ding, little one there, on the uh, driver rear quarter, lower corner. And just a close look at the material for the top. You know, even the corners look really, really good. And then again, the polished surfaces, nice and mirror-like, no oxidation of the chrome. Similar location, but another super, super light ding. You can kind of see it there. That one's hardly noticeable. Passenger rocker, much like the driver, just spotless. Here's a look at the pinstripes, original and perfect. The weather stripping and window trim all spot on. Very, very good. On to the dark blue interior. Door panels are excellent. No kicked open markings, no indentations on the armrests, no oxidation on the window control panel. Pretty impressive survivor. Uh, no real wear on the steering wheel. 
No cracks or grime, nothing like that. No hairline cracks in the wooden dash. The sills are nice and clean. Uh, the carpet is still totally plush and has a deep color to it. Factory floor mats are in good shape. Radio is functional. Uh, climb control unit does work and it was converted to R134 air, though it needs a charge, we presume, but it was converted at one point. Doesn't currently blow cold. Odometer 72.9 is functional. Dash top, totally mint. No cracks or anything like that. Now look at the sills. Really, really nice. Driver's seat. As I mentioned, no punctures, no scuffs. I mean, real, no real signs of age. No fraying. Outer bolster's in great shape. It's like a light corduroy kind of finish, but the, uh, the color just looks great. Oversized factory floor mat. Excellent shape. Much like the carpet. As you can tell, all the interior lights are functional. Uh, actually, so is the one under the hood and under the trunk lid. All the little lights do work. Passenger seat, much like the driver, is very nice. Though, towards the inside of the seat bottom, you may be able to see there are two tiny little dots. There you go, you can kind of see them there. Extremely minor, but this is really the only thing to nitpick on this interior. Massively impressive. Floor mats are in the back as well. Again, carpet looks great throughout. Rear seats, wear is negligible. The headliner, while tight up front, is becoming a little bit loose in that driver rear corner but the headliner is clean and in nice shape. 